Chosen one, chosen one. Welcome back. Welcome back to KDV, Kingdom Victory Ministries. My name is Kelvin Draper, and I do have the victory. And to God be the glory, y'all, because he always gets the glory at the end of my story. What's happening, y'all? Well, uh, I'm just bringing this real, this this good, quick message. And this one, this message right here is going to be a little bit different. He wanted me to put a little bit of the word in this message now. And uh, y'all don't get mad at me now. Don't, don't say nothing now. Here we go. Here we go. We got the Bible right here. So y'all hope we ain't getting banned. We ain't getting banned. This is what we using today. We ain't getting shadow banned or nothing like that, is we? Huh? Can we keep, can we keep going with this message? We got the word in this message now. Everybody cool with that? All right, well, let's go. Let's go then. Y'all welcome back to KDV. All right, y'all, uh, this message right here, he wanted me to put up, he wanted me to go ahead and put out He's saying that it's just milk. <laughs> and he also wanted me, like I say, he wanted me to do this message a little bit different. We're going to go to the word. We're going to go to Psalm 119. All right. And I'm going to do, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to be reading out of here. I'm going to be reading from uh, Psalm 119 verses 1 through 33. Okay. And it says, uh, blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with the whole heart. They also do in no iniquity. They walk in his ways. You have commanded us to keep your precepts diligently. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep your statutes. Then I would not be ashamed when I look into all your commandments. I will praise you with uprightness of heart. And I'm going to stop right there, chosen one, for a minute. Because uh, right there, I, I got to a comma. And the Lord just wanted me to put this out there for somebody. I don't know why. And I'm not trying to be uh, kind of uppity, uppity. Uh, no, no, uh, I'm not trying to be like a, 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 a Sunday school teacher or nothing like that, y'all. But he just wanted me to put this out there for somebody because I remember a time when I was locked up and I had a, I had a, 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 a guy who was I was locked up with. His name was Royce Morris. He was from Memphis, Tennessee. And you know, I was locked up with him at the time. He was a real strong man of the faith and a man of God. And he taught me a lot about about spiritual gifts, about the Bible, about uh, he just knew a lot. You know what I'm saying about uh, fasting, about speaking in tongues, different different spiritual gifts, different different gifts uh, in the spirit. Uh, just he, he he helped me grow a lot. Helped me grow out of, of being a, a real hateful person towards people. You know what I'm saying? I was real into, you know what I'm saying? Of uh, being a, you know, I don't know. I wanted to be that tough guy. I wanted to be that show out. Be that, you know what I'm saying? That, that guy that wanted to, you know, I, I was try, trying to show out. Too much you know what i'm saying he kind of brought me down to level but he also taught me something about reading the bible and that's why i took this brief uh break in in the word to, to to talk about it because uh just in the reading the words i'm gonna go back to the part where i was reading it says then i would not be ashamed when i look into all your commandments and there was a comma and at that comma that's the point where it's like the way he, is, he explained it to me it's like a yield sign right there there's a yield so you know to slow down and, and stop at that point don't just keep don't want to just keep reading through i i would praise you up uh then i would not be ashamed when i look to all your commandments i would praise you up right in this heart i learned judge judge you like i will learn excuse me y'all <laughs> no i hardly can talk and i'm trying to talk all fair when i learn your righteous judgments you don't want to just read the bible like that you want to stop at the yield signs and when a period comes that's a stop sign. So did y'all get that? When you see a comma, that's a yield sign. And when you see a period, that's a stop sign. So just keep that to heart. I don't know why God told me to throw that in there, but maybe it's there for somebody. Because like I say, it, it helped me to grow and learn how to read the word and understand the word more when I knew where to yield and where to stop. And the, the, Once again, the comma is the yield sign. And the period is the stop sign. So I'm going to keep going with that. 
Oh, that my ways were directed to keep your statutes. Then I would not be ashamed when I look into all your commandments. I will praise you with uprightness of heart when I learn your righteous judgments. <laughs> I will keep your statutes. Oh, do not forsake me utterly. How can a young man cleanse his way by taking heed according to your word? With my whole heart, I have sought you. Oh, let me not wander from your commandments. Your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O oh Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips, I have declared all the judgments of your mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of your testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and contemplate your ways. I will delight myself in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Deal bountifully with your servant that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may see wondrous things from your law. I am a stranger in the earth. Do not hide your commandments from me. My soul breaks with longing for your judgments at all times. You rebuke the proud, the cursed, who stray from your commandments. Remove from me reproach and contempt. For I have kept your testimonies. Princes also sit and speak against me. But your servant meditates on your, on your statutes. Your testimonies also are my delight and my counselors. My soul clings to the dust. Revive me according to your word. I have declared my ways. And you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts. So shall I meditate on your wonderful works. My soul melts from heaviness. Strengthen me according to your word. Remove from me the way of lying and grant me your law graciously. I have chosen the way of truth. Your judgments I have laid before me. I cling to your testimonies. O oh Lord, do not put me to shame. I will run the course of your commandments. For you shall enlarge my heart. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes. And I shall keep it to the end. God bless y'all, man. I just wanted to share that quick word with y'all. And once again, that's Psalm 119, 1 through 33. Uh, y'all be blessed today, man. I just wanted to put that out there for y'all. Um. Uh, he just put it on my heart to put it out there. Because like I say, a, a lot of times I've been kind of not into the word as much. You know what I'm saying? It's especially as not delivering the word in the video. So I, he just made a special point for me to go to the word and, and put some, you know, the word speaks for itself. So I really don't have too much to add to that. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And the God be the glory. He said, that's just a milk. Because... When you've been away from the word for a while, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I've, I've not been reading as much as I have. So when I get back into the word, I'm not going to be able to get straight into the meat part again. I got to get, I got to go dibble and dabble with some milk again. See, that's the one thing about it, it paid, how it pays to stay strong in the word and stay encouraged in the word and to keep your eyes continually up on the word because you can continue to, 
to consume the meat instead of having to I say digress back down to to milk so that's just a quick word now I'm not going I'm not going uh I'm not going to dwell on that long you know what I'm saying I just wanted to put that out there I, I'm not sure how many how many likes uh shares this video going to get but you know what I'm saying like I say when it comes to the word that's the most important thing you know what I'm saying I can get on here and talk and talk all I want to talk but the word always going to be able to do more for your life than I can ever really do it just by, by my words. You know what I'm saying? I have to go to the word to receive the word. You know what I'm saying? So like I say, that's just something he wanted me to do today for the, for this video. So I hope I hope that it edifies somebody. I hope that it, uh, ups, it uplifts in some type of way. You know what I'm saying? I'll be back with some more words later of encouragement, a uh, uh, prophetic word. You know what I'm saying? To the KDV family, to the chosen one. Right now, just enjoy this milk. It's Psalm 119, 1 through 33. God bless y'all today. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Yeshua, I'm out. Bless you.